Howdy, howdy. Tonight I'm going to teach you how to do a carrot reef. Yep, you heard it right. You're going to need a piece of foam board. Yep, a piece of foam board. And you're just going to cut it in the shape of a carrot, just like I did here. Here I'm painting it with jack-o'-lantern orange. Yeah, you're going to think I'm crazy. You're also going to need a bunch of ferns, one bunch of ferns from the Dollar Tree, and orange spoons. This came out cuter than I thought. For real, for real. Here I'm showing you I got a clipper. And I clipped some of the spoons handles. Plastic spoons. Throwaway spoons. Here I created a circle and I'm putting Mod Podge on it. I'm painting it. <coughs> and I'm drying it off. Because I'm going to see. I'm going to make a cute carrot wreath. But, I'm going to do it with spoons. Yep, you heard me. Orange spoons. Here, I got a bunch of spoons cut. I took off most of the handles. And a lot of it, this, you don't have to cut off the handles. So here, I'm just taking an orange spoon. I'm starting down the bottom of where the carrot is. And I'm just placing it down using hot glue. And I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to do a lot of them. See? Now, these here, I'm just layering on top and gluing down. And you're going to do this basically until you almost come to the top. I sped this up so you wouldn't have to watch the process. But I'm trying to show you. It really comes out cute. It's different and it's inexpensive. And see how it's, it's coming out? It's so cute. You're going to see. And see, I'm still using the full spoons. And I'm just layering them. And I'm making sure, like, there's no holes. And I'm just using a glue gun. It's not hard. Here I'm cutting down some uh, spoons. As you get up to the top, your spoons will become shorter. See, I'm cutting it. And I'm just placing the spoons down. And I'm probably BSing too. And that's all I'm doing. You might want to wear safety goggles. I didn't. But see? See how they're laying down? And I'm cutting more spoons. And I'm cutting them a little bit shorter. As you go up, you're going to graduate in length. They are cutters. Here, I'm putting on the smaller ones, the ones I already pre-cut. You're going to say, no way. And look, that's spoons. See it? It's spoons. Really, seriously, spoons. I don't know how I came up with this crazy idea, but I did. And here, I'm just filling um, what you saw with smaller spoons, where I cut off the entire handle. So, you're going to need a different couple lamps, and you're going to... Eyeball it depending on how you draw your carrot, but it's very simple and it's very cute. See, that wasn't bad at all. So now all the spoons are down. You're going to take your fern and you're going to fluff it. Well, I guess I'm not fluffing it this time. Here I have a napkin, it says cotton uh, farm. You don't have to do this. I did it because I had a really cute napkin, I don't think I have any more. I wish I did, but it's circular, and what I'm going to do is cut it out. Yep, I'm going to glue it down using the iron method. That's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to trim it up. Back then, I didn't know about the uh, burning method. And see, it's not perfect. And we're going to glue it onto the carrot. That's all you're going to do. Now you don't have to have that napkin. You, you don't even have to have a napkin. I just put it on there for that extra extra. Here I'm just trimming up these uh, Boston ferns from the Dollar Tree. That's all I'm doing. And look, I'm making a carrot. And this I made big enough as a reef to hang on my door. And it was really super cute and really super different. 
Some might like it and some might not. If you want me to do this again, just put hashtag carrot because I'll have to pick up the spoons. But it's not really hard. It's very simple. Here I'm cutting down some greenery. And I'm placing it where I think it should be. And I'm yapping. I do. I, I, I like yapping. But see, there it is. What do you think? 